Hello and welcome back to another video here on the Driven Forth channel. Today we are doing something similar to the uh, last video that we did where I tried to go around the uh, Nurburgring as quick as possible um, with no practice. Uh, today we're doing something a little bit differently, just seeing if I can actually survive Pikes Peak. Um, I thought hill, hill climbing is not really a thing that's done in the sim community too much. Um, and there's this great custom map on a set of Corsa um, that's available for free. Um, and I've been practicing a little bit at certain sections, um, right up kind of the beginning section here, probably the first like minute or two of the track I've done quite a bit of practice on um, because I have a more like I have a different series I want to do with the track, but I don't know if I'm physically going to be able to because this is extremely hard. Um, something at least with like an actual dedicated track is um, they sh tracks should have a lot in common. So you kind of get themes and vibes and understandings of like, oh, this is this type of turn. They would never do this sort of thing. But obviously these are public roads in um, in Colorado, a little bit outside of Colorado Springs. And they're just twisty roads up the side of the mountain, as you can see. I don't know why I'm pointing, but if you can look in the distance there, you can see up the mountain, you can see the track. Um, or the roads, I should say, it's not really a track, uh, weaving up into there. Um, you know, we are going up 14,000-ish feet, I think a little bit more than that. Um, and if you don't know hill climbing, hill climbing is a really cool uh, form of motorsport. Basically, it's just um, hot lapping or time attack, um, trying to um, get to the uh, top as quick as possible. It's a very specific set of skills that are required for this sort of thing because um, you use public roads. Um, I believe all like hill climbing uses public roads, obviously cordoned off for s events. Um, they're not doing this while cars are coming down the other side or anything. That'd be absurdly dangerous. But um, yeah, I thought we could try this. Um, I don't want to promise completion of it because I might literally fall off the side of the map um, or the track. I don't know why I call it a map. Um, I guess it is, but at the same time, it's obviously a track. So I might fall off the side of the cliff because um, there's a lot of areas where there are not barricades. Um, so we're just trying to see if I can survive it. This is not about doing anything fastest or how fast can, et cetera. This is literally just, can I make it to the top? And if I can, how long is that going to take? We have the lap timer on the side. As soon as I go, we're at the start, finish, start, finish line here. So I believe that timer should start. If it doesn't, I'll manually figure it out and put a time on the screen. But yeah, let's, um, oh, let's go. Ooh, I've, so I've done this part. I haven't been, so I'm doing this the same day as the last video. So I hadn't, uh, that was the first time I've done sim racing in probably like two or three weeks. So, uh, you know, I had some mental acuity of this track, but I don't anymore and I'm afraid. So, oh, here we go. Okay, hang on. Just wanna, just wanna get the feel of it. Make sure I've got my seating position right here. All right. So what we want to do is we want to stay to the left side of the, the. Do you call it a track? The public roadway? I don't really know. Hmm. <laughs> okay. He says he's practiced as he literally just like yeets himself on the side of the track. But man, this is, uh, trust me, I, like, maybe I'm just terrible at sim racing, but everybody should try to do this, because this is, uh, this is an extremely difficult thing, because you're just using public roads, and obviously they're not designed to be taken at, you know, I don't even know what speed we go at around here, like 100 plus in some sections, so... It can get, there's some like tight turns and things. It's, it gets pretty crazy. And you're wondering why I'm, if you wonder why in certain sections I slow down, like, oh no, you can make, you can't. You just can't, trust me. Like, I don't even care which turn it is that you see me going slow around. You can't make it. Just, just trust me. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Obviously, this is a little bit more gingerly than I would, uh, than I would normally do. But you get stuff like this. And I never know if I want to be in first or second gear for some of these. And I'm sure there's a video. I'm sure there's videos of this in a set of Corsa where um, people actually do complete the track. And I could watch it and like... 
Because that's how I generally learn a track, as I watch, like, videos. And that's why I've, like, created my own for it as well. Um, because I know they're helpful. And if I can help people um, get to my level, at least, which isn't very high, but, you know, um, there's a lot worse sim races out there than me. <laughs> so, you know, as long as they're worse, it makes me feel better. Okay, so we obviously have to take that pretty slow. Not much choice. Okay, so I know there's a part up here where I literally always fall off. So we're past the point where I know, like, the track, though. That's the thing. Like, now we're into uncharted territory. I've come up here a couple times, but every time I would not have... I'm trying to get, like, perfect runs. So anytime I would not be perfect on a section, I would just restart. So I've not really got to this point much. But there is a lot of slow turning areas on this track, just due to the nature of it climbing up the side of a mountain. I've never actually come up this far. And it does look like we're kind of going for a leisurely stroll at certain points, but, you know, that's how it works. Okay, oh, yep, that's, that's bad. That's, that is a guardrail. So does the actual, so the thing is, is like, I'm curious if the actual, this is where I always die. So I'm proud of myself for that. But the only reason I didn't die there is because I hit the guardrail in the other section. Um, I wonder if they're like on the actual track, if there's any like indicators to be like turn ahead or anything, right? Because like racetracks have those. So like, it's not like a cheating thing. It's a, it's a safety thing, honestly. You would assume the the real one would because it's public roadways. So they'd want to inform you like, hey, there's a, you know, a tight like hairpin like this. Like there should be some kind of indicator there that like, hey, that's a thing. And again, I don't know. Okay. Uh, anytime my voice gets high there, that's me uh, panicking. So if you haven't noticed that yet, if I am very high pitched, that's me being panicky. <laughs> okay. I should probably be in first for that, but at the same time, that's the least of my concerns at the moment. Oh my. Wait, what am I doing here? Oh, okay. I'm not sure why one way is blocked off there, but all right. I did lose time there. I could have kept going, but like, I didn't know what I was supposed to do. I'm like, did I, like, did they just not complete this? Cause I've never been up this far again. So like, well, there's actually a down, like a way you can do the track in reverse. And I was accidentally doing that. And I thought the track was broken. And I thought I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to go down to the bottom and fake my way there. And there was just no way to do that. And I'm just like, maybe there's another track and I'm just selecting the wrong one. And uh, bingo was his name. Oh, that's exactly what I was doing. All right, it opens up a little bit up here. Oh, this is scary. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, that's incredibly just... I should have known there was something coming up, but at the same time... Wow, that's, that's scary. That is incredibly scary. Like, imagine you're just, just doing what I was doing, but in real life, just like completely blind like that. That's incredible. Oh, okay. I had my eyes set on uh, something else there. Uh, well, that kind of sucks. I thought I was doing okay for the most part. Um, that's a little, a little rough. But the track's well done. Um, a lot of the, like, I think he did more um, collision up here than with the trees. Why did I... Why, I'm like... Okay, that's... that That's dumb. Like, the stuff lower on the mountain, like... Alright, fair enough. I didn't... Like, those are tighter turns. Up here, I should not be having that happen. But anytime I see a guardrail, I slow down. It's just, I don't... You don't really get the breaking points properly with this. 
right, so this is this is turning into I was pretty it's pretty happy with the way it was going there until the last couple turns. Okay, so this thing carries a lot more speed than I really think it does. That's really what it is. So like this is why I should practice more, but I think part of the entertainment of this is uh me struggling. So where should I break? Like more like that, I guess. Okay. Oh, uh, yep. There. Oh no. Okay. Saved. I'm just happy I haven't fallen off the mountain. Honestly, like silver lining. Never. Not having fallen off the mountain. That's. That's pretty successful for me. That was very gingerly. Like I. I was not even gonna risk it. Yep, there's the helicopter for a reason. Oh, I think we're at the end. Or we're getting close to the end anyways, I think. Okay, I'm slowing down here because I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't want to just like... Because like, all of the work that I just put in to then just have it all taken away, that would suck. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Calm it down, calm it down. <laughs> Little anxious. It's crazy how, like, into this you can get. Hmm, woo, okay. We're getting, I forgot to set a course is a little drifty. Which actually is probably a good thing, but I just don't know how to, like, utilize it because I don't really play a set of course, huh? I literally bought it for to do this because I thought this would be fun, and I I want to do a whole um, series on this with like how fat like realistically ripping off um, like Jimmy Broadbent series of like how fast can you lap uh, the Nurburgring videos, but I want to do it with how fast can you hill climb. So I think that's a I, oh no okay I think that's enough of an iteration on the idea to to make me not feel like I'm like straight up copying him but obviously heavy inspiration from his videos <sighs> okay see this is <laughs> i thought i was a lot higher up than i was because like looking at this there's still a, a lot to go oh, okay please please have this map okay i was more worried about the fact that like i was gonna drop off into like the the ether somewhere Okay, so once you get stuck like this, this is annoying. Because it's I've had this happen up here before when I was trying to do it the other way, as I mentioned. Is this isn't like marked out road. So you end up getting like like the tra it doesn't work the same way as like if you're on a tr like if you're on the road. So it won't like grab. There's like no torque. But I do have about... Ooh, okay. But I do have about half the mountain inside of my wheels. Okay, I don't know what's happening here, so uh, slowing down is what's happening. <laughs> is that a tr tram? Oh, that's okay. Well, I probably shouldn't have been like focusing on that. <laughs> that's like the first rule of like driving is you focus on where. You oh no, this is this is my hell. That was a little frustrating. Alright, I'm going to be careful now that we're at the top here, because... The video is almost ruined as it is, and I would have been really upset. Because somehow I went down into neutral. I'm getting really flustered. Like, legitimately. So, yeah, I want to do this as a, like, um... How fast can X lap the X? 
Okay, I think this is the end. It is. And then we're just gonna, like, fly off. <laughs> intentionally, though. Intentionally. So, anyways. Um, oh, no. Oh, this is violent. Okay. Yeah, that, that probably needed to happen. But anyways, 1333, 637. I don't actually know what a fast lap time is around here, either. Like... <laughs> Uh, because that wasn't the objective of this video. The objective of the video was for me to just see if I could get to the top of the uh, the mountain. And honestly, it was like success. It wasn't a renowning success, like right home success. But, you know, I was able to get to the top in a, in a fairly cohesive manner, besides for one or two sections and a couple of guardrails that if um, this was real life, would have just like completely destroyed my vehicle. But um, other than that, I think it went pretty swimmingly. And uh, let me know what you think of uh, the idea of me doing the whole series about um, hill climbing and actually doing like how fast can the Porsche 911 RSR, you know, climb the hill or something, do the hill climb sort of thing. And then I can do a bunch of different vehicles. And obviously a set of course, it has a lot of um, custom vehicles. So there's a lot of opportunities to have fun with it. And I think it'd be a cool series, but um, I'm always open to feedback and, uh, you know, obviously I'll practice the track more and get more comfortable with it. So it's more of a, um, of a serious comparison, but I guess it's a comparison to me. So, um, it's not a big deal, but anyways, I'll stop speaking out loud. If you enjoyed, uh, consider liking the video, subscribing, doing all that jazz, and, uh, we'll be back for another one at some point in time.